Okay, great. We're going to start a class. Um, my name is Eric. This is my philosophy class, my burgling class. Um, today, we are going to talk about genetic engineering, right? Human genetic engineering. And I guess, is it right to play God right, with our genes and create what we want? Um, and to what extent even can we? Right? Um, would we want to do that? Are we messing with nature? Um, it should be kind of fun to experiment and play around with. So we'll talk about this. Um, for those of you that want in early, right, you can get Verbling Premium, but you can pay um, a certain amount, or you can, I think, refer friends to Verbling, uh, like the Facebook page, and that gets you in. So let's see if we can wait for some students. I'm hoping we get some Brazilian students today because I'm wearing my, my Brazilian soccer Jews jersey, so it should be pretty good, but there's no Brazilians, so it's okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, Linda, I just barely created this class. Um, Michael, he just he posted something saying that there was an open class, and I thought, I'd, hey, I'll, I'll grab it. So it should be pretty good. Okay. Let's see. Forrester, Forrester, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. And how are you? I'm good, Forrester. Where are you from? I'm from Japan. Ah, Japan. Great. Good. Okay. So, uh, Forrester, why, why are you learning English? Uh, I study English for, you know, uh, I, I, you know, I'm studying for TOEIC, and so I get a high score, and uh, so that uh, the, the TOEIC star make it my resume good and better. Well, so, well no, no, yeah, no that, that's why I yeah, study I English for, for, uh, for find, uh, right now, uh, right, uh, for find a new job. Okay, okay, so you're studying English to find a new job to put on your resume. That's yes. great. Yes. What, what area, what job are you looking for? Uh, my uh, uh, my major was uh, machinery, so I'm looking for uh, I'm I'm looking for uh, uh, this design uh, machine design design designer uh, yeah design of machine. Okay, good. Like, designer. Okay, good. That sounds good. Well, good. Okay. Let's see. Then we've got. Um, let's see. I'm Diego. Diego, how are you? Hey teacher, I'm doing well. How about you? Oh, I'm good, Diego. I can't complain. Where are you from? Fine. I'm from Costa Rica. Central nice. America. Perfect, perfect. Costa Rica, good. All right. What time is it over there? It's 11 p.m. 11 p.m., okay. Yeah, so the same time as me. That's, that's good, that's good. And Diego, why, why are you learning English? I'm sorry, what? Why are you learning English? To be able to communicate my thoughts to everyone else. Okay. Or to the people in, in USA or in the UK or all over the world. Well, perfect, perfect. So just to kind of be able to communicate with everything. What do you do for work? Right. Well, actually, I'm not working. Okay. I'm just studying and preparing to to the next English. Well, to the next classes of English. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Uh-oh. You guys, am I talking like a robot? Is it is it bad? No, it's good. Okay, okay. Let, if, I start, if it gets too bad, let me know, and I will, I'll turn off the video here. Okay. Okay. So let's just go. Um, Ricardo, Ricardo, how are you? Hello, Good. Eric. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Good. Good. Ricardo, where, where are you from? I'm from Brazil, São Paulo. Isso aí, isso aí. Did you, did you see my shirt? Coxa. Ah. Argentina. <laughs> Curitiba, right there. Curitiba. So. Ah, Curitiba. Okay, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I am Corinthians. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good, the good. Best, bro. Uh, uh, I'm good. Well, Ricardo, why are you learning English? I'm working with information technology since uh, many years ago, so I, I read it too much in English, but unfortunately, I don't need it to talk English. So I have many opportunities to work, and uh, I need to learn English very fast. Ah, okay, okay. So you got to do a lot of practice and sing, right? My first day in this side. Okay, okay, well, great. Good. Well, Carlo, welcome, welcome. It's good thank to you, have you. Me. Let's see. Okay, and then we've got we've got um, another Eric, Eric Shen. Hi, how are you? I'm great, Eric. It's it's excellent to meet another Eric. Yeah. <laughs> you you can do no wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm just uh, my pleasure to meet another Eric. You guys. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, um, Eric, why why are you learning English? Because uh, um, it's my interest in, and uh, since my uh, teacher told me, and I just got inspiration from her. Mm -hmm. So I got a hobby of English. Okay. And yeah. so, are you in school? Are you working? No, I just grad. I just uh, graduate, and uh, I come back from Australia uh, uh, two weeks ago. I went there for traveling. Okay. And what yeah. did you what did you graduate in? Uh, I graduated in uh, college, and then my major was uh, foreign language and the literature. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, yeah. well, good. Well, Eric, I'm I'm glad to have you. That's good. Yeah, Let's thanks. see. Then we've got uh, Maria. Maria, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. Can't complain. What What's the good news today? Today I was sleeping all day. I think. <laughs> That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty yeah, good. Yeah, because yesterday we were having like a dinner with Soshi, with Soshi with other friends. So uh -huh. it was like night, uh, late at night, like three, like one a.m. I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so okay. I was sleeping all the all the day. Okay. Well, good. So so tell me, Maria, how is how is your job search going? Oh, my job searching. I have to wait because it's like two companies have called me. Oh, good news. Yeah, but uh, the the like, I, how do you say that? The the employee process is very slow because because energy companies are careful with the with the information right. that the. Uh, the information uh, that people need to apply to the to the jobs vacant, something right. like that. Yeah, I worked for a, a chemical company once, right? Um, yeah. Doing doing security, and it took a long time to finally get in. Yeah, there. yeah, like yeah. two or I think that maybe at the end of April, I mm -hmm. think that I finally I will get a job. Oh well, I'm, best of luck to you there. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Let's see. Then we've got Linda. Linda, how are you? Hey, I'm fine. Good. Linda, what's the good news? Um, not good news, but you know, normal day. Normal day. Okay. What's what's the Spanish word of the day that I should learn? Um, uh, guardaespaldas. Espaldas. Guardaespaldas. What is spal spaldas? What is that? Bodyguard. Bodyguard. Okay. We're talking about security. That you work in a chemical company, so. Right. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Great. Okay. What is spaldas? I will remember that. Okay. Well, thank yeah. you, Linda. Good. Glad you're here. Let's see. We've got uh, Hashem. Hashem, how are you? 
I'm fine. I'm uh, Gordis Baldus. Gordis Baldus. Good, good. Yeah. I, uh, I enjoyed your music that Lended posted. There, that sounded pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so keep, keep up the good work, Hashem. That's good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> then lend it. You're a good man for posting it, right? <laughs> good. Okay. And then let's see. Then we've got uh, Imad. Imad, how are you? Hi. Good. It's really surprising. I just found your class. Join and get it. What's that? I just found your class in, like, in the schedule. So I just opened the page. I was with Lisa. And uh, I finally, I found, immediately found your uh, class, and the class join button was green, ready to, to be pressed. <laughs> I pressed <it. laughs> so it's all go smooth. It's the first time in my life. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It, it was fate. It was fate. It was meant to be. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that was. It was strange seeing you, Imad. You you, you had your, your your webcam on in the beginning, and. Sometimes yeah. it, it, it's strange for me to see. Yeah, so okay, there you are. There you go. It's it's strange for me to see some of you guys sometimes, right? To your actual faces, because sometimes I never gonna see it. I have no idea what some of you look like. Like Lendit, I have no idea what Lendit looks like, right? He's a robot, but he don't don't <laughs> he doesn't accept it. Right, right. So, but it's good to see your face, Imad. Now I, I have a face to connect it to. That's good. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I, I figure um, you guys don't ever get to see the back of my head, right? So that's that's my <laughs> secret. It's the back of my head. Uh. Okay. Well, good, you guys. Let's let's go ahead and start. Um, did everyone get the link that I shared? No. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yeah. There's this. Okay. Um, no, I, I read over this and I read some different things uh, about it, the actual, the, the, the topic, and it is, it's a little sensational. Do you guys know what that word means, sensational? Like trying to make it look like it's bigger than it is? Exactly, yes. So the, the article itself is just trying to sound like this is a bigger thing than it actually is. Um, but it's still, it's an interesting topic that we're going to discuss, right? So here is talking about China, right, is doing genetic work into basically engineering um, babies to be geniuses, right? So, you know, it's several generations down the line that their babies will be genetically smarter, right, is what the, the plan or idea is. Okay, so we're, we're going to read just a little bit of it, and then we're going to talk about it, right? Um, really, is it the right thing to do to um, genetically engineer? Is it something we want to do? I mean, are we smart enough to mess with nature? Could there be unintended consequences? So, yeah, Diego, it should be good. And also, I want to apologize beforehand. This was a last-minute thing, so I barely just created this class. Um, and so I hope I, I hope I have enough ideas to talk through. Normally we should be able to flow just fine, but I'm going to depend on you guys too for extra things to talk about. Okay, so let's go ahead and get in there. So as uh, they want uh, their children to be more smarter. Yes, yes. I mean that that would be the idea. Is they're genetically engineering um, people to be to be smarter. Okay, so let's Most see. They are already very smart. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. okay, let me see here. Again, I'm sorry, this was the last minute class, so I want to find exactly what I wanted just to read here. Okay. So let's let's actually just read this part right here. This is this is an interview. Okay. Can I have a volunteer for someone to read this paragraph right here? Oh, okay, yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think there is a difference between what I have in my screen. Uh, uh, did, you, did you guys get the yeah. same one or a different one? I think it's not the same link. Not the but same. I carry, it, I carry it from your screen if you want. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you can see it, go ahead. Yeah. Could this... Yeah. yeah. Could this whole process 
repeated oh, hold on. Uh, with other. Yeah. Oh, I gotta got mute Eric. Bad Eric. Okay, go ahead. Maybe, yeah. Could this whole process be repeated with other characteristics, uh, like physical appearance? Absolutely. In fact, almost any trial, uh, uh, any, tr any treat other than intelligence, yeah, trait, other than intelligence, would be easier to do. We know that intelligence depends on a lot of genes, while physical tr traits like hair, eyes, colors, hair, eye, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> like hair or eye colors, color, only depends on a few genes. Uh, the things like body shape would be easier to do. Physical at, uh, attractiveness would be pretty com uh, complicated. Personality traits might be uh, a little simpler, simpler than intelligence. How hard w working uh, somebody is? How <laughs> how hard working somebody is? How impulsive? How sp how politically uh, liberal or uh, conserv conservative yes. okay. conservative they are would be easier how uh, religious uh, you are uh, that's definitely influenced by genes to some degree okay perfect okay so this is a good paragraph for us to talk about any questions first about any of these words here I'm not sure about how impulsive. Impulsive is mean that uh, uh, um, can you explain it for me because I'm not sure about the meaning of this word. Okay, sure. Um, does anyone know what impulsive means? Uh, which one? Is it like self-esteem or that self-esteem? Impulsive right here. Anyone know what impulsive is? Okay, so impulsive is someone that, that someone that is impulsive doesn't plan things ahead, right? Or you could do things that are impulsive, like so. For example, right? I'm just freaking out. I'm doing things without thinking or without planning, right? So I might say, you know what? Um, I'm done teaching. I'm gonna go make myself a sandwich. <laughs> 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 and that, that, would, that, would, that would be very impulsive of me, right? Because I would, there would be no thinking involved. It's just going off and doing it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. All right. Um, any other questions? Conservative. Conservative. Okay, good. All right, does anyone know what that means when we talk about politically conservative? Yeah, if you are not, it's against liberty. If you are not that kind of, uh, you have limit for everything, in, especially in political things, isn't it? Yeah, 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 I got it. Good, yeah. So again, you have kind of two wings of, of politics, the left wing, that are usually more about progressive things, and then conservatives were usually more about the status quo. It's complicated, but yeah, you guys understand, right? Yeah, like socialism and... Uh... Yes, yes, so kind of more on the far right side, it's extreme laissez-faire capitalism. On the left side, communism or things like that. Yes, good, okay. Okay, good. So, you guys, let's actually, let's start right there with that, that paragraph. Big question first, what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about this idea of genetically engineering a person to be a certain way? That is bad. It's okay. Why? It's um, because you know we are created um, separately. If you believe in God or not, you are created uh, in a certain way. So it's like uh, trying to create something that you don't know how it works. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you are created that way, it's because there is a reason, a geographical reason or a biological reason, whatever. But you are created in a certain way because of that. Okay. Okay. It's Makes to mix uh, the genes and make some someone different. Maybe mm -hmm. it work for the place or the circumstances where he will live or grow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, maybe using science to change who we are 
is wrong because we are supposed to be a certain way in the first place. Okay. I think it's very, very terrible idea. I, I already look for the Chinese uh, on the TV. I see I, they all look the same for me. So, <laughs> 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 and now someone would try to design his own model mm -hmm. and apply this model for the all of the Chinese. So mm -hmm. it would be kind of fatigue feeling mm -hmm. that, oh, I'm boring. What kind? Of, it's it's the repeated model. So mm -hmm. there is something bad about this idea because they also they mentioned that uh, we can change the personality of the of the chi of the child. Mm -hmm. This means that you can redefine the, the, the personality that, uh, of the child if he is going to be mm -hmm. the king of the Chinese people mm -hmm. or he, he is going to be a slave or if he, you can so, sometimes you can say that it's kind of cheating mm -hmm. God and create uh, robots people Mm -hmm. I, I don't like this idea B because I can't trust the science at this point. Scientists have their own tr treatment, and especially t Chinese, they, they don't have that quality in production. They may, they may fail several times, and we will find some of, of samples. You may find for uh, on your internet, for example, you will find uh, uh, offers to buy, let's say, 10 Chinese and take two for offer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they all designed to be uh, smart or designed to be as a labor. It would be a very bad idea without founding the ethics in our world nowadays. If we did this and if we make it, it would be a very terrible idea. Mm -hmm. It would be a new era, new era for slavery, new mm -hmm. era for over controlling the people. And it would be very hard to overcome the, that kind of uh, race Mm -hmm. That would will appear in the in the in the, in the surface, mm -hmm. and if we touch this opinion, this point right now, it will be uh, more more and more problem in the future because Chinese will, will mention will, Chinese will mention something they do in the future. Mm -hmm. Right, right, okay. So maybe again, that might be the scary part: the fact that you you could influence or change someone's personality, right? Make them be born in a certain way with a certain personality. And maybe that's a scary idea. Um, and then again, people on the side that um, Danny was saying, right? It, I'm, I'm not. I'm taking away their choice, right? Um, and then Maria, it would be wrong maybe because human beings aren't commercial products, right? We, we can't just. It's not like going to the store and, and picking out chocolate milk instead of I, normal milk. Can I say go ahead. something? Yeah, go ahead, Maria. Uh, I think that nobody is able to change the way the human being like. Uh, like one baby have to born in this way, and you can't change. You can change it. You don't have the how, the power to do it. Mm -hmm. It's like a it's like a natural gift, or a, I don't know if you believe in God, a God gift. Right. You can't. Uh, maybe if you want to improve, like a certain type of illness, or a, I I don't know, like a malformation of of bones or something like that will be a good idea, but if you want to change like the personality or maybe the physical appearance of the of the humans, mm -hmm. you can you can do it. You it's like uh, uh, go against the natural way to get the things, I think. Okay. Okay. So we got a lot of people that are, that are against it. Let, let me I'm gonna play the devil's advocate. I'm gonna argue the other side here though. Um, so again what what if uh, <laughs> Um, we already do things to our genes already in many ways. Do you guys understand what epigenetics are? Right? Um, epigenetics is, is understanding when you have your genes, your genes interact with the environment, right? So you're, you're supposed to be this way, but the environment can change them, right? So for example, um, I may have a predisposition by my, my genes to be an alcoholic, right? Now, if I never drink alcohol, I will never have my genes influence me to be an alcoholic, right? So that that's an example. So if I drink alcohol, then suddenly I could be, because my genes put me that way, 
an alcoholic, right? So we can already influence the way our genes turn out to be, right, in a certain extent. Um, what, what, it, what would be the difference there between choosing to do something like that when I'm alive versus before I'm born? Especially, especially in, in the former case when I'm born, or sorry, in the latter case when I'm born, that's going to make me better. Right? They're genetically programming me to be a better person. I'm going to be born smarter, maybe prettier, right? um, or handsomer, right? or stronger. That would be a good thing for me. Why would I not want that if I was a child going to be born? I think uh, something like personality or uh, uh, political views, uh, genes uh, don't have nothing to make... Uh, about these things. Uh, I'm sorry, what? I mean, uh, things like personalities or mm -hmm. uh, uh, your political views mm -hmm. can be edited by genes. Okay, okay. So you think that the genes and personality are, are not as closely related as, as some people think? Yeah, I think genes uh, is about uh, the physical uh, shape, mm -hmm. uh, the color of eyes, things like this. Okay. Okay. And then that is kind of personality is fifty percent, genetics fifty percent. Okay. okay. Yeah, because personality. I think we gain personality from our life, mm -hmm. uh, from what we see, and from uh, problems we face. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So I guess if I. If I tried to, let's say, let's say I found a gene, right? A gene for aggression, okay? Um, here's a good one. So again, I, I think I mentioned this in another class. I watched this um, documentary show about foxes, right? Do you guys know what foxes are? They're like little dogs. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So they genetically engineer these foxes to be less aggressive, to not bite, but to be docile, to be pets, right? Because normally they're wild animals, and so after a couple of generations, they could breed them to be docile, right, to not be aggressive. So again, there's something about personality that is within our genes, right? Because you can breed out the aggression. Um, Danny, let me come back in a second. So maybe, again, there might be something to an environment, right? Maybe they did something to the foxes to make them less aggressive. But there does seem to be something to where if I'm born a certain way, it does show, right? Certain babies are more apt to cry. Certain babies are more apt to smile. And you can see that. It's a, it's a personality they might be born with, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Okay. But, but again, I think, Hesh, maybe there's a good point. There's still maybe a lot more room where it's not totally genes, right? Um, again, depending on what we want to believe about it, if I have a predisposition towards alcoholism, right, or an addictive behavior, I can still choose not to be that way, right? I can still choose not to be an angry person, even though my personality might be angry, right? Uh, Eric, can I ask a question? Please, go ahead. Now, you, you have that kind of personality and self-respect because you think you are a God creature, mm -hmm. but, and you are a God creature. No one played with your genes. Mm -hmm. Would you trust yourself and your personality to be perfect enough if you know that you are being built, you have been built or modified by human being? Mm -hmm. I think you would be, have, you suspect yourself many times to have weakness in some points because you, f you feel that you are not able or you have this ability to do something because of your genes. And it's kind of psych problem. It may not be correct the future, if it happened with, with someone, mm -hmm. but it's, it will have bad effects because mm -hmm. you will believe that they, they played with his gene mm -hmm. and made mistake that caused him right now to, fear, to fail on, in being in the community. Right. And this, and this, yeah, you are creating people, and not creating people, you're modifying the creatures, and these creatures have, have their own feeling and they haven't in society, and society is not that simple thing. If you don't, if you are not discovering yourself, 
in the way that God created you, uh, you uh, genes with, mm -hmm. then you are trying to, di to discover what others did for uh, in your genes. Mm -hmm. And this is a very complicated idea, and it's not easy to be in, in mind. Mm -hmm. No, I, I guess I, I do kind of agree with you there, but in some sense, we don't know enough about ourselves as it is, right? I mean, sometimes when we say things like, I'm going soul searching, or I need to think about what I want, right? It already means I don't know enough about myself, right? And so to try and create something or create someone to be a different way, right? That's, that's scary. I don't know if we know enough about what we are in the first place to do that, right? Maybe? We have a chance to be good. I have a chance to be smart and mm -hmm. to be idiot at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about if I'm, I'm idiot or smart. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But if I've been created from someone, and from his perspective, I am right now, I should be smart. Mm -hmm. But I have another problem, not only about my smart, I have another problem. Mm -hmm. and, in some, and in some stages in our life, we, we try to suspect everything. Then he would, this person, especially teenagers, suspect everything. They suspect their father, their grandmother, and they suspect their life. Everything is not different in that, in that, in that stage. How do you be sure that you are being created uh, in a different way? Or, yeah, how, 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 did you, how can you get that, uh, let's say, how will you be sure about you, 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 uh, your quality created? OK, okay so how, how can I be sure that I'm not supposed to be this way or not? Yeah, yeah Eric. Yeah. <coughs> go ahead, go ahead both. Are you leopard or baby? What would you prefer? I'm sorry, what? Are Are you want to be a lep leopard or gonna be baby? Which do you prefer? I don't understand that word, Wolf. I'm okay. It's a nobody wants to be a lep leopard. Oh, a lab rat. A lab, a lab rat. rat. Okay. Do, okay. do you want to be a lab rat or a mm. baby? Right, right. Yeah, that's because nobody. I think nobody wants to be a lab rat. That's mm -hmm. the problem because everybody they right to be a, a born in natural way, mm -hmm. not artificial way, because it's uh, it's, uh, it's uh, situation is remind me Hitler's uh, science days. And Hitler mm -hmm. wants to create master ways, but right. he's not uh, successful. He, mm -hmm. he failed. His scientists failed. His scientists do a lot of experiments on the pupils, but it's, it's, it didn't work. Right. And let me let me give you an example, mm. especially in the people in the you know everybody knows horse race in the horse ra race. Uh, people wants to create is really fast horse. They choose uh, really uh, I mean pick up the uh, one of the uh, r uh, fastest horse. Mm -hmm. They make them um, um, mate. I mean mating. They mm -hmm. mating the two fast horses, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, their pony or their uh, horse is really is uh, slow. You know, it sometimes right. it's, it's it didn't work. Uh -huh. it's, it's it's. Did you understand what I'm saying? Maybe. Right, right, yeah, yeah. So sometimes even matching the two doesn't happen, right? Um, yeah. Right. And, and I guess, let's see, what was it called? There's, I forget what it's called, but there's a, a law that basically says that, I, I, that we, we tend towards the average, right? So even if I have two genius parents, right, I'm still going to tend towards the average, right? For the outlier, but still tend towards the middle. Right? So good. Oh, I'm but a little yeah, yeah. Genius, genius is a mm -hmm. uh, doesn't mean you are uh, you, know, you have a proper life in the future. Right. Did, do you know the movie Iron Man? Yes. You know, Dustin Dustin Hoffman. He is very clever, but he is, you know, in 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 some ways not normal. Maybe you your life is a turn to nightmare in the future. Mm -hmm. Maybe you mm -hmm. become a clever, but your uh, your social life turned to nightmare. Okay. Okay. Right, because it, it can change you. So let, let me ask this here. We've had a lot of opinions that, that are against it. Does anyone think it, it would be a good idea or that there, there could be good things from this? 
maybe it would be a good idea, as MJ said, to take the uh, genetic uh, diseases mm -hmm. or yeah, or uh, monofunctions. Uh -huh. Deformities, sorry, deformities. It would be maybe a good idea, but without uh, messing with uh, other things. That's true, yeah, because again, um, I can make sure that the child's not born with, with certain defects, right? Um, but he, here's my question, especially for those of you guys that said, that's the way that I'm supposed to be. I don't want to mess with nature. I don't want to mess with how God created me. What, what's the difference there? Because what if, what if I'm supposed to have a defect or a deformity? But many times, um, I don't know, I suppose, many times uh, deformities uh, are because maybe their, their parents uh, used drugs or they were the pollution. Uh -huh. So they, they affect their genetics. It's not like a natural deformity, you know, it's like in due because they use weird things like drugs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I agree, yes, I think there's definitely some of that, but there's also some that it's not the parent's fault. There's also deformities that, that happen. So again, why would it be wrong to make someone better and, and not wrong to, to, to try and make I, sure that person's not defective? You have, 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 have you ever heard about Nick Wujit? No. He is a writer. He, he is a speaker of like a guy without limbs. Okay. He right. has no arm, no legs. Mm -hmm. But he he influenced a lot of people, like in in a good motivated way. You get what I mean. Sometimes God right. created us for a reason, for mm -hmm. to to motivate others. Like he he talks about like one other time, like um, woman she's almost com commits suicide, but when she reads his book, she's like, whoa, why do I, I I have to commit suicide when I got everything. I got my arm, I got my legs, mm -hmm. I got all I have. But he he is the one that don't don't have anything but he, he's like still praising God for it and still I, I, I don't want this to be a religious way, you get what I mean? But yeah. Right, right, but, but he, he is he is happy that he is that yeah. way. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right. And he has wife, he has kids. Right. right now, he is married. He is ha He lives happy life now. So, so James, would you say again that would you uh, 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 say we shouldn't try and genetically stop those kind of things? Then, like, if, if I can stop someone from being deformed, I shouldn't. Or no. Like, what? What? What do you mean? Like. Okay. And can can you repeat the question again? Yes. Yes. Of course. So, that person. What was his name again? Nick. Nick, Nick, okay, so if I could go back in time and I could genetically stop Nick from being born armless and legless, right, would that be wrong? I don't think that would be wrong, but mm -hmm. yeah, you, you, everybody wants to prevent that, but mm -hmm. yeah, you, you get what I mean, but ev everything, hu human have like limited mind and I, for, for me, I, I think Human are limited mm -hmm. for in in every way, like in many kinds of way. Like you know, they 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 not all knowing. They don't know every part of the bodies, or like every single cell. Or I I don't know how to explain this, but yeah, I I think human are limit. So if shit happens, let it happen. Right, right, right. Uh, okay. I'm not, I'm not Go ahead, move. Eric, you can't try the plastic surgery if you don't have legs, and you can't uh, try the artificial legs. An artificial arm is a plastic surgery. It's your progressing every day. It's going to help you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a who? I mean, it helps the people who really defect it. I mean. Just so I get, uh, Wolf, are you saying that don't, don't mess with them before birth, but mess with them after birth? Or fix them after birth? I don't understand. I don't know. What was the question, sorry? Oh, okay. So I guess I'm trying to understand, Wolf. Would you say then that it is wrong to, to try and fix defects before birth? No, you can try your uh, defects. I, okay. You're talking about physical appearance, yeah? Like right. a leg. Yeah. Yes. You can try, I mean, you can try the plastic surgery. 
plastic mm. if if you compare the plastic surgery and 50 years ago and now you plastic surgery found a lot of solution maybe okay. you can you can try artificial legs artificial arms they mm -hmm. really looks almost real okay so, i mean so it's better than nothing it's good it's gonna help right, you don't right. you don't need to you don't need to go to the past okay let, let me show you something else I, i'm gonna pick on me okay so um i i'm a redhead right and even right now you guys can see that i'm red I, i'm sunburned right my face is quite red because i've been out in the sun okay um i have very pale skin i get sunburned easy right um in one way maybe i could say that's a defect right I have defective skin because it burns really easy and I get sunburns, right? Um, wouldn't have that been better if maybe I could fix that defect? No, because you can you can fix that defect with some cream or something like that. <laughs> I and no, yeah, of course. <laughs> if you can fix the defect or a a a, a bad or a defect or a defect. Mm -hmm. You can you can do you can use like some some real things that that humans have already developed. So mm -hmm. why you can't why you can interfere with your with your human develop? It's a silly thing, I think. But if you can, <laughs> I don't know because mm -hmm. you uh, your parents uh, don't know if you are pale or I don't know. It's quite difficult to to define the the right the right es scenarios maybe when people wants to wants to interfere with the with the how do you say with the genes mm. in in their children okay okay so, so let me let me take it a little further a little further um okay you guys know what albinos are right albinos that are they're perfectly white right they have no no melatonin in their skin right what about that would it be wrong to genetically engineer someone so they're not albino? No, be Can you type because the word? he's a. Oh. Sorry, sorry, Maria. Oh, go ahead. Can 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 you type the word of like just now? What what? Yes, what albino, 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 yeah. right? So again, that's someone with no melatonin, right? So they they're completely white. Okay, I want to tell you something. Uh. Engineering of genetics may cure or fix many things, uh, and it may be good at many things. Yes, mm -hmm. but uh, the problem is uh, it may used for another things that destroy the world. Like uh, you know about the Nobel, right? Nobel Prize. Right, right. Yeah, he was uh, trying to make a bomb to get gold uh, from mines. Mm -hmm. Uh, but after that, when he uh, invented it, they were they used it in wars. Right, right. The same. So, again, some, something bad could happen with this technology. There could be potentially horrible things that could happen. Yeah. Okay. Albi sorry, albino. What does it mean? I don't understand. Oh, so, okay. Again, albino. Right. Albino. That would be. Yes, an albino is someone that was completely white. Have you ever seen someone like that? That yeah. they have they have no pigment in their skin, right? And so again, that that was the question: Would it be wrong to genetically modify someone so they're not albino, right? It, it, maybe it's a defect. It, in fact, I would say it's a defect. Their body doesn't produce melatonin. Okay. How about that? Is that okay for me to prevent or genetically alter that yeah. one? It's okay because it's a type of disease. Genetic can, can disease. Can you guys see my screen? What that? Th this is a vinyl. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, we've got some albinos right there. Yes. Okay. So again, but I, do you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to blur the distinction here. So again, I have skin. I don't produce enough melatonin. I get burned. Right. So I'm only a couple steps away from the albinos here. Eric, yes. it would be a good decision because it's a type of uh, genetics disease. If mm -hmm. if the if the genetics engineers can realize uh, the I don't know the defect in the gen in the genes before mm -hmm. the boy or the girl get born, uh -huh. maybe you can fix it and the boy 
will have a better life. Okay. Okay. So, but in that way, because it's like a, it's like a disease. But if, if the boy is like ginger, like you, or I don't know, like brunette, like me, uh, like me, uh -huh. you can't, you can't, uh, you, you, you can't uh, change that because it's not necessary. Okay. But again, uh, Go ahead, Danny. it's a small uh, disease. It's a small uh, defect. Mm -hmm. So th this thing would probably cost a lot of money. And uh, you don't like for such small defect. Mm -hmm. I think it would be against the, the the real purpose of like fixing major defi the disease and defect. Mm -hmm. Like people who have real, you know, some condition mm -hmm. that um, prevents them from having uh, to live life to the fullest, like like all of us can do, mm -hmm. and. And like be successful in in anything, so I think it's really the the severe defects that should be primary. primary. Okay. Okay. If you if you are not happy with your skin, you you you, uh, you can't change your skin. Look, Michael Jackson, how he solved his problem. <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, if I can you can. I can bring. Uh, sorry. Michael one. Jackson is his choice. I'm sorry. Sorry, Michael Jackson did, did, did choice during his life. It's fine. Right, right. During his life and not before. It doesn't I matter have... if you, if it doesn't matter if you are not happy, you can still uh, you change your skin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, I, again, so if it's okay to better my life, right? So again, in the, the case of the albino, or maybe. I'm trying to think of something in the middle, right? What if, as, as a parent, I want my child to have a better life? I want him to be smart, right? Because if he's smarter, he's going to be able to get a better job. He's going to have more money, right? I want him to be liked, right? Why, why wouldn't I want that for my child as a parent? Maybe you are not 100% sure about okay. the operation, but okay. you are not 100% sure. You uh, could turn your child's life in a nightmare if operation wouldn't successful. Okay. But still you have a risk. It's so this, this I'm, I'm rolling down, I'm gambling, I'm risking on this. Yeah, you can't, if you're happy with gambling your kids, mm -hmm. I can't say you anything. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay, you're taking a higher bet. Sorry. Okay, Diego and then Imad. Yeah, okay. Hey, Imad, go ahead. So go ahead, Diego. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, okay, so Diego, did you have something to say? Because we'll go Diego and then Ahmad. Oh, okay, p perfect. Well, it will be a, a very high bet because if the science can manage in an appropriate way, mm -hmm. that will be okay. Mm -hmm. But if they don't, it will be a disaster. So, I mean, if you want to change an albino, you can turn in a black people. No offense to anyone. Mm -hmm. So if you if you wanna fix for for the albino to a a brunette people or a someone who is totally different to a a black skin person, mm -hmm. you can you can have a really, really change of, of your life, mm -hmm. like a parent and like a child, because if you're trying to to modify your genes, mm -hmm. you can create something that you're you're not even think. So it it is a very very problem. It is a very high probability to be to went wrong. Okay, okay, good. Uh, and, uh, Imad, how about you? What were you going to say? Uh, I was going to say that not everything is bad. If we, sometimes, it's many times happened with me. I expected something to be bad with me, and it turns to be bliss in this guy. How did you say? This and this guy. This guys, yeah, this and this guys. So it's okay. not always uh, how it appears. 
Okay, kids. So the, yeah. the, sometimes good good things turn bad, and sometimes bad things turn turn good. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, God created us with a way that we can adapt and can change everything, except some things. There's something that is being fixed, that being fixed for, because they ca it's not that important, <laughs> because it's ex external. Mm -hmm. Let's say how we think, how our religion, our abilities, how we think, uh, if I'm conservative or not, and li liberal. It's mm -hmm. all, it's all adaptive. We can change ours, even uh, the color of, of our skin. Is adapted from from generation to generation. It's been changed to to be better to 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 be. Uh, it's been adapted uh, to to be uh, uh, suitable for the environment, and it's right now in the best way that it should be. So why why should I be Albanian? Uh, yeah, what's that benefit that I can get if I'm living in a desert? No, uh, it's not always. Uh, good, uh, and also I have some experience uh, with this uh, kind of genes. So, uh, uh, so they used to have gender. Uh, 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 they, they used to choose the gender gender of the of the baby in my country. I really uh, have serious conversation with uh, some nurses and some people and doctors who were working in this. Section. They told me that the children that is being go through this process uh, is not completely uh, is not completely perfect. They have they they have something that is not good, but they are not sure right now what is the bad thing with uh, their own uh, with their own breath. Uh, so they selected the the gender of the baby to be. Boy, not here, but the, 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 this boy has some problems, and this problems is not really understood how this is happening because they they ju just selected uh, the gender, and and this process which is very simple because mm -hmm. some yeah unexpected side effects yeah. But in the, in our society today, a lot of people change their sexuality, sometimes genes in the wrong body, but. Sometimes gonna problem why people change their sexuality because we are they are not happy. They feel their their body not suitable with their gen genres. That's also interesting. No, I, I Wolf, that's a great point too. Is I guess, and maybe we ought to talk about that another day, right? Is that is it wrong in the same way, or or should someone be allowed to change their their sexuality, right? If I want to become a woman, right? Is is that is that the same way? Am I changing? Who I'm supposed to be, or no? Yes, you you are, but you're making choice during your your living. Okay. And, and like about the the changing gene. Uh, it's not making about choice. You're born in that way. You can't choose. It is not is a choosable. Yes, thing. I can choose it. They can. They can uh, make operation to change. Yeah, but you, right, you, right. Are, you are choosing to operation to be. Uh, I mean, you your gender is in in the wrong body when you born, for instance, as a man. But your uh, gender, your hormone is a, maybe ninety percent in a woman, in a in a woman hormone. But you are in a man body. But you want to choose because not your as a preference, but you want to be a woman. It's a, it's a I think it's natural choice. That's right. Even if he is a man. But yeah. Here's my question, though, Danny. Again, um, if it's about choice, though, I don't get to choose anyways when I'm born, right? It, it seems like either it's random about what I get when I'm born, right? It's it's just however the genes match together, or I'm I might be lucky enough and have parents that will choose, right? They'll genetically modify me to be what I want. But either way, as a baby, I have no choice about what I get to be when I'm a fetus or when I'm in the. I guess when I'm Conceived, yes. Right. Natu it's it's natural choice that uh, everybody has to take. Everybody. Mm -hmm. So everybody has to take it. And just about uh, the 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 thing where, like, just myself, if I have a kid, and he is not diagnosed with any defect, mm 
I, mm -hmm. I, in a way, insult myself mm -hmm. because instead of making him um, like, like clone of my genes, mm -hmm. like I improve him even if he doesn't have the fact. Mm -hmm. So just that is a little insult to me. Okay. But okay. In, the, in the other way, God made us, or whatever, mm -hmm. made us so we can improve as a, as a society and evolve. Mm -hmm. So I think we could consider it, but for really the primary things. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the really defect people who don't have the same chance as most people in their in the life to succeed mm -hmm. and uh, live to the fullest. Okay, so maybe a chance to, to make bad things right, to, to equalize. Good. Okay, uh, um, let me let me ask one more question here before we get close to the end. Maria said something that I, that I did like, right? That there are different types of intelligence, right? There's different. There's eleven yeah. different types of intelligence, right? And, yeah, and that one, that, right, and that one might be difficult, right? Because I think every different type of intelligence is important, right? And sometimes one type of intelligence um, maybe means that you won't, right? So. I think it's a good thing that not everyone can be scientists and engineers, right? We need dancers, we need artists, right? Um, we need public speakers, we need salesmen, right? And so if you take one certain type of intelligence and make that the, the good intelligence that we want, maybe there could maybe something bad will happen because of that, maybe? It's great one way. We need mm -hmm. harmony. It's harmony mm -hmm. is important. Mm -hmm. If you yeah. couldn't create harmony, uh, you stuck in a boundaries. You have to go in just one way, but it means if you followed one way, you couldn't progress in the future. You are mm -hmm. in a stuck. But if you create the harmony, it's it's uh, it's gonna be successful in the future because harmony is important. Science science is really important, but philosophy also important. Right, right. If we if we're all alike, uh, life is it's gonna be boring. Uh, and also, w I want all of us to imagine uh, these uh, surgeries or uh, genes engineering uh, surgeries. Mm -hmm. uh, people will make the children uh, being intelligent and beautiful and strong. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> all the people who have money uh, will have their children's uh, children's like uh, the best people. Mm -hmm. And the poor children will just normal. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine this? Right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, maybe you have, it would be a, a class struggle, right? Where now that would definitely be the rich are getting better and better, rich are getting richer, and the poor are falling getting, behind. Yeah, can, poor, can I say something? Go ahead, James. Um, I I think that people or humans like just trying to take. God place. They're trying to um, build human in in their own, like cloning, like you know. But 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 they try their best, but they couldn't like do. Even though the cloning is successful, mm -hmm. but you but you only can clone on what age are you? So for example, I'm I'm 15, right? Mm -hmm. Example. If if I'm I was 15, and then I I I clone myself as fifteen. It will stay there. It, my age will stay there, and you and that person will stay fifteen for the rest of his life. But if you need as, if you if you need a certain organ transfer, you can uh, transfer organ from your colon, and it's that's how gonna follow your life. Oh, okay. Um, you guys, listen. We've got to, we're getting close to ending here. Um, but I did I did want to ask one more question here that I think should be pretty important that we haven't talked about, right? This is we've only talked about human genetic engineering, right? Um, when we talk about animal or plant, right? We have done that, and it has been very successful and very helpful, right? Um, if you guys know what the Green Revolution is, right? I think back in the '70s. We did a lot of genetic modification with with, um, with plants, right? With with grains and with rice, and we were able to basically build feed a million more people, right? Because of how we changed how plants grow and produce food, a million more people were fed. We saved millions of lives, right? So that was a good thing, 
right, to genetically modify plants, right? But we changed nature there. Was that wrong? Of course, Not wrong with because uh, it's great. It's like disease. It's like a lot of people got the cancer or something. A lot of disease. You're gonna die. End of to you. End of to your. Uh, if you use to these products, it's harm you. It's harmful your for your body. It's not natural. It's gonna kill you. And I guess. Oh, go, go ahead, Hashem. Uh, this is the the, uh, the bad the quality things that give people diseases, but there is a good quality uh, engineering uh, on, ge on these uh, genes. The thing is also, can we sustain it? The the you know the the, the plants and make these people live all the time. If 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 it's hundred percent sure, it can sustain all the time. Yes, but. If, if all the new kids in the world were changed genetically, then I think uh, big problems would uh, would start to appear um, because I don't know most people would be genetically like more, better at math. Uh, I don't know, not sure, but it, it's hard to change. It it could go more wrong than if we can sustain the, the changing uh, the plants. Right, right. Okay, because I I I don't have any of the answers here, but I want to bring that and actually. Do we have, there, I think there's a lot more we can talk about, and so I might have to do another class where we can talk about this more. Um, but it is time for me to finish, so I, I, I apologize. Um, let me go ahead and this is my Facebook page for anyone that wants to follow, give me suggestions or complain. You guys can, okay? Um, any last questions? Any questions? Thank you. No, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thanks, this, Eric. this was a fun class. I really enjoyed yeah, it. You. So again, and I think I might do something yeah. like this again because this was kind of a fun topic. Yes. Okay. Okay. I will see you guys later. Thank you again. You're awesome. Um, Lend it. My next class is on next Monday. It's during. It's noon for me. It's, so it's during the the afternoon for me. So whenever that is for you guys. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Can you make a debate on uh, politics views like uh, liberal and uh, socialism? Yeah, yeah, we can talk about that. Um, I can think of something. Go, go ahead and send me a Facebook message too, Hashem, to remind me, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you, guys. I will see you later. Thank you. Thank you.